Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be creating a Python script that will call the Llama 3.1 model using AWS Bedrock. By the end of this tutorial, you would have learned how to create this Python script and all the details that go into calling Llama 3.1 using AWS Bedrock. So let's get started. First, you need an AWS account. That is out of scope of this tutorial, but be on the lookout for future tutorials that walk through AWS Bedrock from the beginning. Right now, you need to have access to an AWS account and Bedrock. If you come to Bedrock, which you can do by searching here, Amazon Bedrock, this will lead you to this page. We want to make sure we actually have access to this model. So we click on model access and you'll see if you scroll down to meta. Oh, you see we, there's no 3.1 here. That is because right now 3.1 is only available in the US regions in the West. So we want to come to this and change our location to US West. Once we have that, we'll be able to see what models are available. And now we see that 3.1 is here. I have already requested access to this, but if you have not, you will see a way to access the model here. You can do modify model access, then click on the models you wish. And next. Right now I didn't make any changes, but let's say I take away this one, for example. When you add, it will show add access and you submit. Well, apparently I can't delete it, but you'll be able to add models this way. So once you have done that, you'll see access granted here. Once access is granted, you can start using 3.1. There's no additional steps here, so you should be able to get access right away. Once you have access, you will need to create your access and secret keys. That can be done in the IAM module. We will not get into that here because that's a whole another set of tutorials to go into it. We'll maybe doing a video on IAM specifically in the future. But for now, you can go into it and create access and secret keys that provide Bedrock access. Once you have your access and secret keys, which I do, and I have put them in a environment file, just so you guys don't see it. But when you're doing your own prototyping, feel free to put the access and secret keys directly here. You don't need to do this. You can put it in this code. By the way, all of this code is available in our article here, which we'll be linking in the description below. So once we have our access and secret keys, we want to install some libraries that we'll be using. For this, there are one main library and a few other ones. The one that we need to install is Boto3. So in your terminal, we do pip install, Boto3. We already have it installed, but if you don't, you should see installation process going on over here. Also, if you're unfamiliar with Python, we will have an intro tutorial to that in the future as well. But for now, we're assuming that you know how to use Python in both scripting and execution. So we install Boto3, and then we import it, import Boto3. We also want to import a client error to deal with error handling. We import JSON to deal with request calling. This library is to interact with environment variables, which I'm using to store my keys. You don't need this because if you put your keys directly in the code. Okay, so now let's get to the fun part. First, we need to create a 
client that will help us interact with Bedrock. So to do that, we do client equals Boto3, our library client. We give the name, in this case is Bedrock Runtime. The region name. This is very important because 3.1 is only available in US West 2. And then we provide the access and secret keys as you see here. AWS access key ID and secret access key. Then we give our model ID. So the model ID refers to which version of Llama 3.1 we need. In this case, it's 3.1.8 billion parameter model. If you remember in Bedrock, we have 405 and 70B as well. You can find the model IDs for all of them by Googling model IDs, AWS, Bedrock. And this will provide model IDs for each of the models that are available. So as you can see for our meta ones here, we have all of the different parameters and their associated model ID. So we take that and we put it for model ID. Then this is our prompt. So this is our question that we're going to be sending the LLM. Here we have, I went to the market and bought 10 apples. I gave two apples to your friend and two to the helper. I then went and bought five more apples and ate one. How many apples did I remain with? Let's think step by step. Cool. Now this is a part where it's not always clear. So I'll walk through this in a little more detail. We can't just send our prompt directly to the model. We need to let the model know how to deal with it. So Llama 3.1 comes with a set of formatting that we must use to send the prompts. It looks like this, begin of text, start header ID user, which tells the model this is the user sending it, end header ID, and then start for assistant. There is also a way to add system prompts here. And again, you can Google that on the format and Meta provides that directly. So here the prompt format is described on other tokens that are available to format your message. And this is how you can also provide system prompts as needed. Right now, we're only doing user prompt. Then we create our request with our prompt, the max gen len, which is the maximum amount of tokens we want to output and the temperature. There are a lot of other variables we can use here as well. So bedrock request invoke model. And as you can see here, there are many other request bodies with the model ID and the parameters. So if you look at the inference parameters for meta llama models, you'll be able to see which ones they support. So in this case is prompt, temperature, top P, max gen len. So you can play around with temperature and top P, but it's recommended you only alter one at a time. So keep one constant while changing the other one to observe the responses. Now we want to convert this into a JSON ready request. We do that by JSON dumps native request. And then we get our response. So response equals client, which is our bedrock client over here. We execute this method invoke model specify the model ID, the body, and the content type. Then we get the model response, which will come back in response body. However, we need to convert it into JSON and read it. So these are built-in bedrock functions. You can look into them more if you want, but I would just use them as it is. And then we get the response text, model response generation. This will be the response that is output, and we print it. We also have some error handling here, except with the exceptions. 
in case something goes wrong. So that is our script. Let's save that and we will run it. So we'll do python llama 31 bedrock.py, which is the name of my file here. Oops, seems like I'm not in the right directory. Let me go there. And here I get my response from Llama 3.1. Let's break down the problem step by step. You started with 10 apples. You gave two apples to your friend, so you now have eight. Give two apples to the helper, so now you have six. You went and bought five more apples, 11. You ate one, now you have 10. So you remain with 10 apples. And there you go. This is an intro of how to call Llama 3.1 using Bedrock. There are many other things you can do after this. For example, have a conversation. For that, you need other parameters such as session ID that will continue the conversation. You can also add your documents to Bedrock and convert them. So that way you can chat with your PDFs, docs, etc. We'll be making videos about that in the future as well. So look out. This tutorial is to get you up and running with a simple script of calling Llama 3.1 using Bedrock. Thank you so much and stay tuned for more.